Hi, if you want to configure Firebase authentication into your website or if you want to use Firebase login into your website then in this video we will learn how to set up Firebase authentication into your website. So here we created one live demo for you. So let's check that demo. So here first we will register our. So here we take one password is equal to 123456 then first register. So once you register then here you can see registration successfully and also you can check this is it register or not. So here you can see your registration data will be stored inside this firebase console. So now let's check this is a login or not. So here you can see we can also check. Suppose I enter wrong password here and then try to log in. So here the firebase will give an error like authentication is wrong. Now I will try write password and then so this login successfully and after that you can see here we display one logout button after the login. So this is the best demo for uh, Firebase authentication and you can click on this logout then logout also working. So how to configure this demo into your website. So let's see step by step and how to configure this demo into your website. So first you need to go to your Firebase console. So here you can see you need to go to Firebase console and then you need to click on add project right and after that you must have to provide your project name like uh, right signer web art and after that you need to click on continue. And also you need to click on continue and select your account here which you have to use for analytics and after that click on create project okay now click on continue now your dashboard is open and your project is created with SignerWeb art right now now you need to add your app inside this so you need to click on this code button so here you need to click on this icon to add your app so you need to click on this and add your app name So we provide that app name then click on register app and after that you must have to click on this radio button and simply you must have to copy paste this code or save this code which is used in a further coding. So you must have to copy. So I simply copy that. So I simply copy this code because this code will be used in further coding. So now click on this continue to console. Now once you created your app you must have to design one web page like this. So here you can see we created one block for a registration and one block for login. So simply you need to design one web page. So, so here you can see we created one file like art.html. So in this file you can see we created two block one for a recession and one for login. Here you can see we take recession now. Here you can see we take one text box for email and one for password and then we take one 
button for registration now and also we take one text box for login email and login password and after that one button like login so simply you need to design web page like this so here you can see we created one page like uh, art.html so here you can see art.html so this page will be display i will set this code login and registration code so i will set this code so you can copy paste this code right so now the most important is what here you can see we save some code so you must have to use this script code into your art.html file so while we are created our app at that time we save this code so you must have to copy paste this code so you must have to initialize this firebase code into your file so you must have to initialize this code into your file right now let's see first we need to check this code is it work or not our firebase so suppose here we can check our app is initialized or not so let's check that now you can open inspect element and go to console tab and you must have to refresh this page now here you can see your app initialized successfully right okay now how to register so for the registration you must have to follow firebase document so here you need to search firebase auth you can search firebase auth and click on this firebase authentication so there will be available some documents so here you can see now click on learn how to get started and you must have to scroll down and then click on web now here you can see we already created our project and everything so you must have to scroll down and here you can see while we are using authentication you must have to import your authentication library into your project so we are another way we have a configure or import our library so here you can see you must have to import your library like firebase auth.js you can also use this method to import your library so we simply copy paste this line so here you can see you must have to import your get auth create user with email and password sign in email and password and sign out this all attribute will use in a further code so you must have to use this firebase auth.js you must have to import this library right and after that you can see they created one constant like auth is equal to get auth right so that also we have created here so i already created this demo so i simply copy paste this code right so here you can you must have to use this con constant auth and get auth method so right now we okay so you must have to use this get out method and here you can see they are using a sign in with a custom token and everything but here i already created that code so i simply copy paste this code you, i will also set this code so for registration this code and uh, for login this code and for logout you can use this code so simply i copy paste this code and uh, i also share this code and i so i also explain this code how this work right so simply copy paste this code into your file 
you can also follow this document but you must have to write your own code or you must have to handle this code so i already handle everything in this code so that's why i copy paste this code right now i explain this code step by step right so here you can see for a registration when i click on this register button so here you can see when i click on this register button at that time we call one add event listener it means one when i click on this button at that time this block will call so here you can see when i click on this register button at that time this code will be work right so here you can see now when i click on register button at that time we get email and password data so here you can see you can also see this register now id is equal to register and after that the text box value and name is email and the password text box value name is password so we get email and password data and stored inside this variable and after that we are using this method this is a predefined method provided by this firebase auth js right so you must have to use this predefined method which is provided by firebase auth js so you must have to pass your auth it means your authentication constant variable and you must have to pass your email and your password right so once you pass this three parameters your registration will work so this is how you can simply use your registration process so you don't worry about your database and everything this method will handle everything so you must have to use this method so here you can see once your registration is successful then we'll store this user detail in this variable and we simply display one message like registration successfully and here you can see if is there any error then error will be display inside this alert box right now let's check is it registration successfully or not let's upload this now you can refresh your page now here you can see we get some error right oh sorry here we forgot to add some default app so you must have to go to your firebase console and here you must have to select your project and after that you must have to click on this authentication and you must have to go to sign in method right so you must have to use this email and password here you must have to enable this you must have to remember you must have to enable this otherwise you cannot use this login right so you must have to use this email and password and click on this enable and click on save right now you can use this provider like email and password we are using this email and password for login so that's why we need to enable this right now let's see now okay so still this error will come so let's see what the problem so here you can see i got uh, some problem here so here you can see we include a library like 9.11 9.11 and here we use 9.10 so you must have to change this 9.10 because this is a mismatch this library with this firebase auth.js so simply you must have to save this and upload it and here you can see now let's check refresh so now here you can see our uh, 
program will work rightly and now let's check and also you can see now go to your project overview and here you need to click on this authentication and here you can see there is no user so let's enter one fresh new user right now at gmail.com and my password is one two three four five six right so now i click on this register now so here you can see registration successfully right and also we can check this user will come or not so here you can see dbs at gmail.com will register successfully so this is how this registration will work now how to log in if you want to log in then you must have to use our this code so here you also we when i click on this login button at that time we get his email id and password and we can store that email and password inside this variable and after that we call one function like sign in with email and password so that also attribute we have added here so you must have to add this attribute here and here you can see that email and password will pass inside this method oh sorry so here you can see we pass that email and password inside this function like sign in with email and password and if is there successfully login and that here you can see we get that user email id with this message login successfully so we can also check this and we can enter password 123456 and click on this login button and here you can see dbs at gmail login successfully it means our code work nicely and is there any error suppose suppose i enter some wrong password at that time and click on this so here you can see firebase auth is wrong so this is how this login will work now how logout will work so for logout when i click on this logout button at that time we use this method like sign out so you must have to include this sign out attribute here then and then you can use this method here right so when i click on this logout button then you are log out successfully right so this is how you can log out so i will share this code with you so if you have any query regarding this setup or if you have any problem while setting this code please write it down your comment in comment section i will try to resolve your problem and you can follow this step by step then you can configure this firebase authentication into your website and also i will share this code in my video description so you will get this whole code and you can configure this code into your website easily right so i hope you will like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel because i will share so many video so you will get knowledge or you will get easy to configure this code into your website so thanks for watching this video 